peanut butter cookie ice cream sandwiches. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo facts. Twelve. Hello everyone. To make this, you'll need a peanut butter cookie recipe. You can use whatever one you like. I'm going to suggest one here that's pretty good. That's one half cup of butter, softened. Three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, creamy and one cup of packed brown sugar. Cream those things together, add a half a teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, and then you're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Blend that in and then you're gonna add your flour a little bit out of time. That's going to be one and one quarter cups of flour. And you will end up with a soft dough when it's all blended. I recommend that you put this in the refrigerator and allow it to chill for a couple of hours. It'll just be easier to work with. Then you're gonna take out portions of dough, roll it into a ball shape, and then flatten it down onto a cookie sheet that's been greased or covered with parchment paper or a silicone mat, and then press some candies into them. You're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're just lightly browned on the edges and on the bottom. They will spread quite a bit, so make sure you leave lots of room. Now you'll notice a difference in sizes here. The one on the left, the big one, is a two inch ball of dough that I started off with and the smaller ones are about an inch ball of dough. So it depends on how big you want your ice cream sandwiches. I find that the smaller ones are probably the best for ice cream sandwiches because you don't want them to be super gigantic. So once your cookies are baked, allow them to cool completely and then take half of the cookies and spread a little bit of peanut butter on the bottoms, about a teaspoon or so of peanut butter. Of course, that's to taste. And then you're gonna add some ice cream. And I added two small scoops of ice cream to the cookie. I'm using just plain old vanilla, but you can use whatever flavor of ice cream that you want. Now push the ice cream onto the cookie and then add another cookie with a fancy side up on top. Squish it down lightly. And if any ice cream squeezes out the sides, you can just carve that off with a knife or a spoon. Now I recommend that you work quickly and I also recommend that you take your cookies and put them in the freezer and make sure they're nice and frozen before you start adding ice cream. This will slow down the melting of the ice cream and it'll give you more time to work with. So after you're done putting the ice cream in the center of the cookies, then you can add some M&Ms on the sides as a decoration. And this is hard to do when your ice cream is melting because the M&Ms have a tendency to want to fall off. So all the more reason to make sure those cookies are nice and frozen prior to adding your M&Ms. Then take your completed ice cream sandwich, put it back in the freezer and allow it to freeze completely so that it's nice and firm. And then you're ready to eat them. And here are a few pictures of completed ones. They are delicious. They look great and would make an awesome summer dessert. Now you can put these in a storage container with a lid in the freezer, or you could wrap them up with a little bit of waxed paper or parchment paper and tie it all together with a little bit of kitchen twine or ribbon. Thanks for watching. I have many other great frozen treats on my channel. I put them all together in a frozen goodies playlist. If you want to see it, go ahead and click right on your screen. Click on show more underneath the video to see the link in the description box or click on the little eye on your screen. Bye-bye.